Quarterfinal number three, folks. Super Rugby sees the Drua in their first ever knockout game, traveling down to Christchurch to play the number two ranked Crusaders. We're going to go through some lineups, prediction stats, and you guys can let us know your thoughts. I must say, I bought the bullet the other day and bought a Fijian Drua jersey. It's been a long time coming. They've been a phenomenal team to watch. The crowds have been amazing. Every home game for the, the Drua has just been fantastic. They made the knockout stages. I had to buy it, so... Uh, a better late than never. Forgive me, Drua fans, for taking this long. But, yeah, feels good to be in some Fijian Drua kits. Now, they've got a tough ask going to play the Crusaders. But there's this weird trend in the quarterfinals this year where three of the four teams who are the away sides in the quarterfinals, the Drua, the Reds, and the Hurricanes, all beat their opponents who have, they've got lined up in the quarterfinals during the regular season. So, way back in round three, the Drua at home with a kind of crazy win over the Crusaders. It was a kind of uh, maybe not quite a 100% full-strength Crusader side, but still, it's the Crusaders. So the Drua uh, have done this before, albeit at home. And we all know the Drua at home are a different beast, but they're going to have to pick up their game away if they're going to get anywhere near the Crusaders. But um, we'll get to the predictions shortly. For the Crusaders, they have kept things relatively stable from that side that lost to the Hurricanes. Last week, they have made a couple of changes. So, Tamaiti Williams, Cody Taylor, and Ollie Yeager are your front row. So, Ollie Yeager's missed a few weeks out with a leg infection. Uh, but he is back in the lineup. So, there's no John Alfoa this week. Uh, Scotty Barrett shifts to lock. And he's been getting a fair bit of stick. But maybe lacking a wee bit of pace when he got burned on the flank uh, against the Canes last week. But he's captain and he's back in the second row. Uh, Quentin Strange is going to accompany him. Uh, Sione Havili is there on the blind side along with Christy and Leo Woolley uh, making up that back row. I mean, Christy is just an absolute tackling machine. I mean, to be fair, so is Scott Barrett. Scott Barrett and got, he's got through a lot of tackles this year if you're looking at his numbers. Uh, but yeah, he couldn't quite catch up with Yossi last week. Uh, Drummond and Wong is 9 and 10. And when you're looking at Morgan's stats, sometimes I do them a bit. A bit of underrating of Richie Moonga, but goodness gracious me. Like, if you're looking for a 10 who's busted tackles, it's Moonga pretty comfortably this year. He is an absolute danger man, so he continues on at 10. Uh, Goodhue and Enor are 12 and 13. Fine Gonuku, who's off to France at the end of the year, uh, and he's been in devastating attacking form. Bunch of tries for him. It's 11. He's got, he's been an absolute weapon. He's on the left wing. Dallas McLeod's on the right. And then Will Jordan, who's only just really getting into the swing of things after missing the majority of the season, is there at fullback. Uh, replacements, McAllister, Sykes Martin, and O'Neill front row. Gallagher uh, and Blackadder's back, which is a bit of good news. Willie Hines also back in the side. Burke and Fihaki there as well. Bad news is that Sam Whitelock's going to miss this one uh, with his Achilles giving him a bit of trouble. But still, Crusaders at home. Strong looking lineup. Their home record is pretty fantastic. Um, they will go into this one comfortably as favorites. The Drua, though, uh, man, all they can do is give it a wee crack. I hope there's some Drua fans uh, down and crushes this week. It'll be pretty cool uh, and cold, I mean. Uh, Hetet, Ikanaveri, and Dogia are the front row. Uh, Ikanaveri's got through, I never realized, six tries this year. He's been getting through a few tries, so good for him, man. Nasila Sila and uh, Thirikita Beta are there in the second row. Um, the Sila Sila is the Drua's top lineout man. He's their top tackler. He has been kind of a workhorse in a Drua side, which is obviously more known for for the backs who set things alight, but the forwards have been getting through the work as well. Uh, Meta Meta switches to number six, and then there's this guy Murray, who's apparently the Fiji under-20s captain. I don't know that I've seen him play, but he's, I think, getting his Super Rugby debut in a quarterfinal away to the Crusaders. But, man, uh, be a good experience for him at number seven. Then Dero Lange is captain. Uh, there at number eight, we've all seen what kind of gas he's got as well. Proper danger man in the back row. Lomani and Munz are your 19 combo with uh, Tela and Masi, 12 and 13. Now, if you're looking for danger men, if you're looking for the guys who are getting all the plaudits this year, it is Masi. I mean, nine tries, so many clean breaks, so many run meters. Absolutely, like if you're looking for a weapon on the Drua side, uh, it's that guy at 13. So the, the Crusaders guys are going to need to... Keep an eye on him. Easy said than done. Revolvo, a bunch of defenders beaten. He's on the left wing. Uh, Ratao Robotamara is on the right wing. And then um, Joao Sisse is back into the 23 at fullback. So, man, like I mentioned, the Fijian side, away from home, hasn't had the same form. But they've got some real guns in the side. So, I'm hoping they're up for it. Uh, they've brought in Togitama on the bench. 
Tawaki is still there. Matawalu is still there. Ronnie Sal drops to the bench after uh, getting a start last week. But, um, yeah, we'll see how they go. Stats-wise, the Drua have more clean breaks than the Crusaders, which is maybe not that surprising. The, the Drua are fourth overall. The Crusaders are sixth. So we all know the, the Drua can kind of do that. But, I mean, the Crusaders ball is a proper killer. They've had more carries than any other team, the Crusaders. Uh, they are the fourth best team for their kind of tackling percentage, whereas the Drua are down in tenth. So you gotta gotta wonder if it's that kind of core stuff with, you know, stopping malls and, and making big tackles that the Drew are gonna to need to step up this week. And also the Drew's lineout is the worst in the competition at 79.1. The Crusaders are only seventh, but 85.8 is just a lot more consistent, um, you know, reliable set piece ball. Such an important thing, especially if you're gonna set up malls and whatnot. Um, the Drew are they're gonna to need to get so many things right, aren't they? But we'll see. Um, as I said, they have got that win over them uh, at home. But if you're looking at the kind of home and away stuff, the Drua have only managed one away win all season. And that was way back in round one where they had a two point victory over Moana Pacifica. So yeah, the away record for the Drua is not great. And the Crusaders have only had one home loss. And that was <laughs> way back in round one against the Chiefs. So the side who never wins away against the side who never loses at home. It seems like there's only one outcome here. Um, the TAB, that's the bookies here in New Zealand, have got the Crusaders by 22 points. The rugby forecast algorithm is going one step further, saying the Crusaders by 31. So predicted to get this done absolutely comfortably. But I mean, form-wise, Crusaders had a pretty bad second half last week away against the Hurricanes. The Drew had a phenomenal second half against the Reds, so they should be fired up. Who knows, folks? It's knockout footy. Smart money is going to be on the Crusaders by a bundle, but hopefully it's a good game. Hopefully not all these quarterfinals are kind of blowouts, as some of them are predicted to be. But um, either way, very pleased for the Drua to make the knockout stages. They have been, as I've said several times, probably my favorite thing about Super Rugby this year. Uh, wish them the best. But um, yeah, Scott Robertson... Still going to want one more Super Rugby title before he heads over to All Blacks duties. That's the quarterfinal. Remember, it's on Flow Rugby for you guys in the States. Link in the description if you are keen to watch this. The other quarterfinals in Super Rugby, Top 14, Curry Cup and whatnot. But yeah, you guys let us know your thoughts and um, I will talk to you guys again soon. See you later.